Hi, it's Joe for Halo Magpie, and I thought I'd just give you a little look through the Maggie Holmes collection round trip. I've got some bits in today. Still waiting on the embellishments to come into the shop, but I thought I'd get started um, and order in some papers. And the chipboard sheet is in, which is great. It's one of my go-tos for um, when I'm getting collection. So this is um, the chipboard sheet, and it's really lovely colours, quite a vintage um, sort of colour palette um, but really pretty and lots of different colours in there as well so it's not really plain um, and along with the travel elements you've also got things like strawberries and swans she, she loves her swans um, and flowers so you can get a few different sort of layouts out of that it's not just travel which is great um, so that's the 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard um, stickers and then I've got some of the papers. I didn't go for every single paper, but I have got quite a few. Uh, my plan is to make a mini book. We are flying over to see um, family in Northern Ireland. So I'm going to make a mini book for this month um, as one of, the, one of the projects. So I will, for the first project, I'm going to prep it all and get it ready. And then the second um, blog post, I'll share what I've done once I've got some photos and journaling in place. So let's have a look at the papers that I did order. Um, this one's called All Packed and it's got lots of lovely icons on here. So great for fussy cutting. Um, I think I'd probably fussy cut this side more so than leaving it as a background. But I will see, see what I, see what I do with that. And on the other side is stripes. You've got a pink and cream stripe and a dark red and, uh, and cream. Which... I'm liking this colour. I'm not so sure on that one, but this is definitely, that was the eye candy. That was definitely why I bought it. I love that side. Okay, next one is all, uh, sorry, is abroad. Um, and it's got this beautiful floral pattern on. So again, great for fussy cutting. I do love a paper that you can fussy cut. And I love floral, so that's perfect. And then it's a grid pattern on the back, which does make your eyes go a bit funny. So <laughs> that's definitely the side that I'm going to be using. Um, this one here is called Adventure and it's really beautiful. It does have a vintage uh, sort of 1960s vibe. Well, for me, I think it does. Beautiful pink background with lots of the icons from different um, countries, including Big Ben. Um, so that could definitely be used for UK. You've got pigeons, um, you've got, you know, the wheel. Um, but equally, it would work for going abroad as well. So on the other side is this gorgeous paper, uh, sort of newspaper print. Really love that. Um, so that is definitely going to be a nice background for some pages in the mini book. Uh, next one's called Caravan. It's got a sort of a, a blue dotty background and then these florals on top. Uh, very simple on that side, but the other side is gorgeous. It's definitely the side that I'll be using and cutting up. Um, so fussy, definitely fussy cutting these little elements out. Um, they'll be great, especially because we don't have the embellishments through yet from American Crafts. Um, papers like this are brilliant because you can make your own die cuts um, and ephemera pieces. So that's what I'll be using for this um, mini book. Uh, this one is called En Route and this is really pretty. Lots of lovely um, florals on a sort of a minty green background. And then the other side is a deep green with mint green spots. So that's really versatile. Definitely doesn't need to be used for travel. Uh, this one is called Documented and I love journaling papers like this so this is pretty it can be cut up for journaling place uh, spots in mini albums or on layouts or could be used as a background um really really nice oh, i've got the sunlight coming through that's typical <laughs> you get lots of shadows now and then on the other side um is this sort of it's a really it's kind of like a warm blue background with these white sort of cream hearts really nice so that's a lovely paper and then we've got another cut apart paper. So this one's got your labels on your tags rather and um, different sizes of bits that you can cut apart. It's called Explore. Um, I'm a sucker for tickets, love having tickets. 
so this is great um, and the other side is really beautiful as well beautiful vines so black on cream loving that um, this one is hydrangea heads on a deep blue background uh, it's called getaway and on the b side is this really lovely geometric um, print which is cream on pink it's definitely a cream base to this not white um, for the whole collections so that's really versatile really lovely again not necessarily needed for um, travel it can be used for anything now this one's called let's go and a beautiful matte print i'm not entirely sure where it's for oh it could be lake michigan maybe that's going to say there um i do like maps so that's quite cool It'll be quite nice just cut up it doesn't need to be the whole thing it doesn't need to be representative of where you're going but the other side I love this beautiful blue quite different to the other blue that's in the collection so mid blue with um sort of geometric print on really good really love that this one's called on the road so lots of words you could fussy cut them out and use them as titles um or use them as a background and on the other side nice and bright um yellow with these kind of rosette shaped stars um some are pink some are cream uh, passage stripe paper with the different colors from the uh, collection but i love this side this is calling to me it's a little bit busy but i love that yellow um and for traveling i really yeah really like that it does remind me a lot of um the crepe paper collection here and now with that yellow so i really like that this one's called Passport, so lots of sort of stamps, um, great for fussing cutting if you're going to any of those particular places, probably not going to go to Moscow, <laughs> but really nice background. So I'll probably use that mainly for background paper. And on the other side is this beautiful mint green background with stars, really lovely. Would definitely use that on its own as a background um, for any kind of layout, you know, baby boy, anything. Really, really pretty. Uh, this one's called Seasonal. Strawberries on this side um, on a light pink background. And then the other side, you've got again that mint, mint green, but in geometric. So really, really love that paper. It wasn't what I was going to go for because I didn't think I'm going to need strawberries, but actually I was drawn to that side. This one's called Snapshot. Uh, vintage photos from looks quite European. Um, not sure quite how I'd use that, but as I said earlier, I love a ledger paper. So this is the side that I was after. Really like that. Um, tickets. Great for fussy cutting. Definitely going to be fussy cutting this. Um, that would go a long way. Um, so yeah, definitely one that's going to be uh, probably in my stash for a little while. Um, so I don't think I would use all of that um, in this one mini book. Uh, but on the other side is a really nice pink grid with sort of grey lines on it. So that's really versatile. So you could definitely use half of that fussy cut and then the rest is, you know, background paper. Final paper that I ordered. Um, there's loads in this collection, uh, you know. Um, but this is the last one that I got, and this is called World Traveller. So really nice um, maps, well, globes. Um, and then on the other side, oh, beautiful cream background with black hearts. Love, love, love that. Um, so I will probably cut one of these strips to use um, in the travel album and then definitely use that back. So that's really nice. Um, and the only other thing I got from the collection was this stationery pack. It's quite expensive, but there's quite a lot in there. Um, and because I'm planning on fussy cutting things from the papers, um, this for a mini album is going to work really nicely because I can tuck different things in. Let me see if I open this, I can quickly show you. So I got this in lieu of the um, embellishment ephemera packs that aren't in yet so that's a travel three big tickets um this is like a, a ticket holder although it's not actually a pocket so that could be definitely used separately um, and maybe glue up the sides of these or stitch and then 
you know, have something else tucking in that. Uh, this is like a little photo frame. It says insert photo here. And there's a little opening. Uh, oh, that's nice. That's a lovely envelope. I like that. Journaling card. This is nice. So this is a tab um, sort of file folder thing, but it's actually that stitching on there. So that's already really nice and tactile. Really gorgeous tag. Another envelope. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I like things that you can tuck in extra bits and pieces. So great for mini albums um, or hidden journaling, things like that. So that's great. Um, a sort of a boarding card type ticket. Perfect for journaling. And another, that's cool. It's quite a vintage looking envelope with a little opening space. Presumably that would go in like that. Yes, do like that. And then we've got the top section. A geotag, ticket, um, bus ticket, star journaling card, and a floral tag, chevron tag, that's nice. And another photo insert, so you'll put your photo in there. So that's cool like that um so that's what i got from maggie holmes collection so far i will obviously get more <laughs> i'm a sucker for maggie holmes um so we'll get more when it comes into stock but that's definitely going to form the basis of my mini album and then i just picked up a couple more things um this one's from bo bunny uh, and this is beautiful things fly away really like that and then on the other side is some lovely music sheets so that's really cool um and then this paper from the page evans collection splendid it's paper 18 um love typewriters so that's a really nice either to use on its own maybe the photo down here in journaling and title up there um and a nice bright sort of red floral print on the back or i might fussy cut that and use that. i'm not too sure yet and then Oh, I've just realised there's another bit left in there. There's like a, a gold arrow in the Maggie Holmes stationery pack as well. Um, so I also ordered these really nice flares made by Halo Magpie. Um, different sort of everyday expressions. So currently, life captured, love this, obsessed, adventure and documented. So that will be quite useful in the mini album too. And I thought I'd give have a little look at their new enamel dots that they've done so this is Haley bank ones this is a glittery one can you see that it's really pretty gorgeous color that's called fun times um this is called home sweet home so not glitter but really pretty colors this is teal ocean and this one's summer breeze so some of those, I think Summer Breeze and some of the teal ones would work nicely with, with this collection. So that will go in my pack to use throughout the album. Um, so that's that. I hope you've enjoyed having a little look through. And um, let's just turn that over to that pretty first paper. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.